Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Presenting to you this lovely 2014 Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI. And in this video, I'll show you the complete exterior, as well as take you around the interior, as well as show you all around this Mercedes B200 CDI. So without further ado, let's begin the video. <music> So let's start off with the exterior workaround of this lovely 2014 Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI. So this is the overall look of the Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI. Overall it looks really nice, it has good proportions and I really love the design. So let's start off with the front. So as you can see this is the front fascia of the Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI. Overall the front end looks very really nice, it looks elegant at the same time. So you get the front grille right here with the Mercedes-Benz badge proudly presented in the center so this is the three-pointed star ornament in the center and you may notice this mercedes badge is behind the laminated area that's because this car comes with the optional uh, radar cruise control system that is not standard this is the optional feature to so get the mercedes benz badge up here so as for headlights the b200 cdi comes with the bi xenon led headlamps as you can see so you get bi xenon led headlamps LED daytime running lights and LED indicators. They look really nice. And within the headlights, it says Mercedes Benz with a bi xenon lettering right there. So overall, the front end is nice. You get the headlight washer system as well. This is your daytime running lights down here, the LED daytime running lights. Front parking sensors are standard. So let me give you the side look of the car. Overall, this angle looks really nice to admire the car. So, as for tyres, it comes with the Continental Continental tires as you can see Conti, Conti Sport contact tires and the tires do measure 225, 45, or 17 so these are the 17 inch rims as you can see with the Mercedes Benz badge in the center overall it looks nice so up here you get your sensor right here for the automatic wiper system LED indicators on the side mirrors as you can see Body colored door handles for the B200 CDI. This car comes with the sunroof as well. Let me give you a real look. Overall, the B200 looks very really nice. This is the rear end. It has really good proportions and I really love the design. So, this is the rear end. Overall, it looks nice. So, you get the Mercedes Benz badge right here, B200 CDI lettering because this is the diesel model. So, you get rear parking sensors down there chrome scuff plate right there and right here you get your tail lights so this is the led tail lamps as you can see they look very nice with the mercedes benz lettering within so you get led tail lamps led brake lights led indicators as well and led reversing lights overall it looks really nice b200 is amazing so as you can see overall it's nice so now let's get back to the front so this is the interior let me give you a sneak peek of the interior Overall, the B200 looks really nice. Side mirrors once again. Let's get back to the front. So that's all for the exterior. Let's continue with the interior tour. So now let's take a look at the interior of the 2014 Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI. But before that, here is the key fob of the Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI. Overall, the key fob looks really nice. It feels really nice to the touch. So without further ado, Let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. As you can see. So now let's get inside. So as we notice, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon opening the driver's side door, the side mirrors will automatically fold out. And upon locking the car, side mirrors will automatically fold in. As you can see so this is the door panels of the mercedes-benz b200 cdi and that's the interior right there overall the interior is nice and these are the seats so now let's continue with the interior tour so on the doors you get a speaker down here and up here this car is equipped with the harman kardon premium sound system which is an extra option so this is the harman kardon sound system right there down here, you have your mirror controls right here. 
Window controls of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. Window lock. Down here you have a bottle holder and a storage area. Central locking right here. This car is not equipped with the fully powered seats. So therefore you lose out, you lose out on the seat controls right here. Central locking right here. This very nice wood trim as well right here. Air convent. These are your headlight controls. Your key slot right there. So you get your parking brake down here. So as you can see, this is the foot operated brake. I'm sorry, this is the electronic parking brake. So to disengage it, just pull it out. And to engage it, simply push it back in. The very nice Mercedes-Benz floor mats. Mercedes-Benz door sills as well. And the driver's seat in this Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI does get uh, part powered and half manual and half power adjustments. Some of the controls are powered and some of them are manual. So this lever will adjust your seat height. This knob controls the seat back. The four-way power lumbar support is the power adjustment is located right here. This one adjusts your seat inclination. Down here, you get seat storage, which can, which can hold up to a maximum of 1.2 kg. And this lever down here controls the seat position. The seats in this car are finished in very nice black leather, as you can see. And the headrest adjustments are right there. So overall, the interior is quite nice. I have no complaints for the interior. So now let's step inside and start the car. So this is the driver's view of the interior. Overall, it looks nice. So now let's start her up. So to start the Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI, just insert the key fork into the slot right here. Put your phone on the brake, twist the key once, as you can see, turns on to accessory mode. This is the ignition on. So to start it, just twist the key all the way to the right. As you can see. So this being the diesel, it has the diesel sound. And the tachometer is up to 6,000 RPM because this is a diesel car. And it's a nice startup. So let's close the door. And explore the interior. An electric rack and pinion power steering system. This is duty in the Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI. So this Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI does get a full leather wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2. So overall, the steering wheel feels really nice. It has chrome accents down here as well. So overall, the steering wheel is nice. It has pedal shifters as well. So this car comes with the 7G Tronic transmission. Control it via this column shifter right here. And it has manual mode, so you can shift manually via the pedal shifters on the top two steering wheel spokes. On the right spoke, you have your volume controls, mute button, Bluetooth telephone controls and your voice control. Use these buttons right to go through the multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Currently, we are in your trip menu. You can use the left and right arrows to go. You can use the up and down to go through your digital speedometer, your trip from reset, trip from start, eco display, range, your mileage, and back to your digital speedometer. Use the left and right to go through your different menus. So currently, trip, you can go through navigation, audio menu, telephone, your assistance settings, your attention assist, and your distance warning. This car comes with the Distronic, that's why it has the disc warning. Service, tire pressure monitoring system, under settings, you have your instrument cluster settings, your light settings, ambient lighting, surround lighting, interior lighting, and all that. At the back, to go back, vehicle settings, you can choose to have your speed limit tires, automatic door locks, acoustic lock feedback, hit the back button to go back, convenience settings as well, and reset them back to factory settings. So hit the back button, and it'll take you back to your trip display with your digital speedometer. So overall, it's quite good. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using a manual lever down here. You can spec it to have the power adjustment as well, so you have the lever jutting out right here. So on the right stock, you have the gear lever as mentioned just now. And on the left stock, you have your wiper and indicator controls. This car does come with automatic wipers as well. This comes with a triple turn signal as well. This one controls the rear wipers. And down here, you have your cruise control stock. This is passive cruise control, by the way. 
So let's move on. So this is your screen right there. You can control it via this knob right here. This knob goes up, down, left, right, scrolls to left, scrolls to right, and clicks down for enter. You have your back button and your shortcut button. So currently we're in your audio menu with your radio playing. So you can change your different stations. And the Harman Kardon sound system does sound quite good. I'm not going to show it because copyright reasons. So you can go through your FM, your sound settings, you can adjust the bass mid treble and balance fader and your 3D sound, part of the Harman Kardon sound system. So you can go through your different menus, audio, telephone, video, system settings and your network. This car comes in navigation as well. So I'm controlling it via the knob. So under audio menu, you can go through your different settings. And that's about it. So this is the infotainment system, it's quite simple to use. You get this very nice turbine style air vents, inspired by turbines. Feels very nice to operate, it's very nice. And down here is your buttons, this is your volume knob. As you can see, your skip a track and forward the track buttons, eject button for the CD DVD player, clear button. This is your Bluetooth telephone keypad, so you can dial a number via this keypad right here. And this doubles up as your nine customizable stations to store let's say your favorite navigation address your favorite radio station and whatnot shortcut buttons for radio disc navigation telephone mute button system settings your bluetooth telephone control right here these buttons will go through the sport eco and um, manual mode eco button button to turn off the parking sensors so you get your manual air conditioning control right here there is an option to spec it the to spec the automatic climate control but this is the manual unit so right here, you can adjust your fan speed, different modes, recirculation, air conditioning, maximum defrost, rear defrost. Right here, you have your temperature controls. Quite simple to use. Right here is a lid, which reveals to the power outlet and a storage area. Right here, you have a lid as well, which reveals to a cup holder or storage, depending on what you use it for. Two cup holders right here. Right here you have your front center armrest with a nice storage area below. So this is your central locking. Power folding, side mirrors as shown just now. Very nice. So this is the interior. Up here you get an auto dimming rear view mirror as you can see up here sunglass holder up here your front reading lights for the passenger and the driver interior lights as you can see they double up as your interior lights they turn on gradually and turn off gradually as well this is your rear interior lights button so this car comes with the fully powered panoramic sunroof. That's an extra option. So you can open it in full, like so. Very nice. This is a good option as well. Very nice. So to close it, just press on it once. So all a one-touch operation. Very nice. Operates quiet as well. It operates in a quiet manner. You can open it as a vent, like so. You can always close the sunroof blinds should you prefer. But it's nicer to leave it open because of the sun. It's very sunny. So the sun visor for the driver's side just get a vanity mirror and a nice light. Grab handle for the driver. So what do you think of the B200? Do let me know in the comment section below. This is the Australian spec. So therefore, it looks really nice. So now, let's move on to the rear seats. So that's it for the front. You can turn it off right now. So I guess that's all for the front. Turn the AC off. You can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. So 
So let's continue with the rear seats. So these are the rear doors. The rear doors. You get a speaker, window control, speaker down here, bottle holder, storage. Well, the rear doors open quite wide as well. These are your rear seats. You get adjustable headrests as well. And the seats are can be folded as well, can be folded. They are foldable. So let's get inside. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 170 centimeters tall. There is enough of space to stretch on my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for legroom, I get about this much. And as for headroom with the sunroof blinds open, I get about this much. If the sunroof blinds were closed, I may get about this much. Overall, the seats do feel really nice and comfortable. There is storage nets for both sides. You get this tray as well with this food tray. So you can put your drinks and your laptop or anything to work behind here. Up here, you get a grip handle and a coat hook for both sides. And you get your interior light as well for the rear. Your reading lights, as you can see. And you get a very nice sunroof back here as well. It lets a lot of light come into the cabin. Get a storage area right here. 12 volt socket. And a storage area. Rear center armrest with two cup holders. You get another light right here as well. So that's the interior of the B200 CDI. Overall, it looks really nice. Very nice interior. So now let's continue with the boot. So to open up the rear hatch, go towards the rear hatch itself, locate the touchpad beneath the Mercedes badge, press on it, and the boot will open right up. There is a power boot option as well. So as you can see, boot space is quite good. You can fit all the luggage inside. It's very good. Below is the boot floor. I can't show you the boot floor because of the luggages. So this is the boot. Very nice. So let's close it. Very nice boot. Fuel door. This car runs on diesel, so therefore you get a diesel lettering. So this is the rear doors. So let's take a look at the front. So same set of controls as the front driver. See these men's door cells, as you can see. So let's step inside. Close the door. Down here, right here. Nicely sized the glove box. It is two tier as you can see. Sun visor for the driver's side. Oops, just get a vanity mirror and a light. And the passenger side does get a grip handle. So overall the interior is nice. So let's continue with the front get back to the front very nice so now let's start the car with the door closed very nice startup So that's all for today's video on this lovely 2014 Mercedes-Benz B200 CDI. Thanks for watching, stay well, stay safe, and goodbye.